hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here today we are going to do the finale of my winter project use up so today is the last day of february so it's time to finish out this project so obviously i didn't update in january just because i was taking a break i did still line all my products so i can still give you that progress but yeah it's the last day of feb and i'm ready to be done i am filming on my lunch break again but i have like less time today so we are going to be a little bit quicker with today's video so it probably will be a little bit on the shorter side but we haven't we have got lots to talk through but i'll just try to be quick if that makes sense so this project ran from was it november no i feel like it was longer than that i'm sorry i probably should have got my stuff together before i sat down to film yes no it started in october so we did october november december january february and that is because i don't do like an autumn fall project because i'm not into those type of scents so i just go straight into the winter so winter lasts probably the longest out of all my projects because i'm about to go into spring and then we'll do summer so yeah last day of the month i thought i'd get this film ready for you guys to see timely with all the other uploads that i've promised um, and then we can start the spring project for march which i'm so excited about so I have everything to update on in this basket and I will start with the empties which as always you can watch the full empties on my channel which will be my January February empties see full reviews of the products I finished but we'll just run through them quickly so I finished up the winter citrus wreath hand soap this was definitely done in January this was balsam wreath fresh citrus and forest breeze it was brand new and then we were down to here in the December and finished this off in January. We did enjoy that one. I have the Love Spell dupe that I was using. I found this in TK Maxx. So it went into the project new, one month, two months, three months, and then I finished it off in February. I <sighs> love this. And then I finished up the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow Body Cream. I'll be honest, most of the lines have rubbed off and the packaging has gone wham. <laughs> Um, but it was new in the project at some point within one month I'd used a little bit and then the second month I think I got down to here and then I cut it up and finished it off in February we have the Dove Exfoliate and Body Scrub in Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk uh, finished this one off so it was new one month two months finished this right off there's only a bit left for February and then my Frosted Cranberry Pocket Back which I think I just used up in January to be honest. So there's that one. I think, is that all the empties? Yeah, so that's, oh no, last one is <laughs> A Thousand Wishes Body Spray. I only put this in, was it December? So it was here and then I finished this off in January. It looks like there's a tiny, tiny bit down the bottom but it is not coming out. So yeah, finished that one up as well. So that takes like January and February's empties to six which I'm pretty happy with. I do have to say there was definitely periods in January and February where I probably was not the most, uh, I probably wasn't the most like on with my routine. Like I probably wasn't scrub, shower, body cream, spray every day. Like there might have been a couple of days where I'd even missed a shower, but forgive me, it was a low point. Um, so I definitely could have got through everything in this project, but you'll see I still did really well under the circumstances. So we'll start with the two shower gels I have, and that is the Warm Winter Berry Nights. So this one I put in brand new in December. I made such good progress. Like this was just flew through in the January, it must have been. And then I used a little bit in the February. If I'd have carried on with this progress, I definitely could have got this up, but I just wasn't really in the mood for it. Um, to be honest, I don't know. It just kind of fell off the bandwagon a little bit. Sometimes I get a bit of a weird sour note from it, but February is still cold here in England, of course it is, but we still do get like a couple of springy days and this is just like berry and vanilla and pie and it just really wasn't what I was feeling to be honest. I do still enjoy it and I'm a little bit annoyed to have to put it back in my collection halfway used, but I just know I'm not going to feel this much going forward. Then we have the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow, which I am so happy with. This again was brand new. After one month, it was about halfway. And then I got all the way down here and I have the tiniest, tiniest little bit left. So this is like not enough to carry over to the spring project. I'm going to put it in the next project. I'm not going to put it in. Um... I'm not going to put it back in my collection, I'm just going to finish this off between now and starting my new spring project because today is Thursday and I think I'm going to film my project on Sunday, it just gives me time to pick out the items and things. So yeah, I'll just use these for the next couple of showers and get that used up. So not classed as an empty, but it's classed as a two empty if that makes sense. And then I had one body scrub left, which is the I Appreciate... 
he ate you, like I appreciate you but with peach, um, peach body scrub. So this one weighed 700 grams when it was brand new in December and it now weighs 560. I used 140 grams of this scrub. You can see it was brand new in the project. I used a little bit in January and a little bit in February but like this tub is so wide and the product is so thick that even like it just, it's a never ending body scrub basically. Like I've done like three or four full body scrubs and a couple of leg um scrubs with this and it just it's not ending so yeah probably will carry over to the spring project but i will see i have one body moisturizer left and that is my vanilla bean noel this weighed 185 grams back in december and now weighs 70 so i used 115 grams we have i'm guessing i think this was december then this was january and then this was february so for january and february i used like pretty much half this is the point where it's like a real struggle to get any significant amount of product out like i just can't squeeze any more out so i am going to cut this up tonight which i'm so happy about and again this is although this isn't finished i'm just going to finish these up in the next couple of days together because they both have like a marshmallowy vanilla cookie note anyway so probably two showers and these will be done soon literally they're gonna cut this up tonight and get it done so not empties but too empty like i said and then i have the three mists left we'll go from worst performance to best so we have the bare vanilla mini this should have been done it really should have been like look how many months this has been in here so this will have been january and this tiny bit will have been february i just haven't been wearing it because i was concentrating on finishing off the peach hope winter marshmallow cream <laughs> and this is my bedtime spray this didn't really go with the peach marshmallow i'll be completely honest like this is too cashmere smooth vanilla whereas the marshmallow peach is like just a little bit too sour marshmallow peach um but this is my like nighttime pajama spray so i will just use these up together the peach shower gel and then the vanilla bean cream which goes really nice with the bare vanilla spray so again hopefully a two empty but i know it will take me a little while because i only use this as a bedtime spray then we have the Midnight Bloom from Victoria's Secret, which overall in the project has done so well. So this will have been January and this is February. So I only have like a tiny bit left. Again, I might carry this over to the spring project just to sort of remind me to use it. But this is another one where just with organic use, I use this as my office spray, my office scent. I'll be able to get this finished up. Um, and I'm just really happy with like how much I managed to get through in the project. And then the star of the show, which you guys are going to be so shocked by, is Gumdrop the Beat. This has become my gym scent, and that is how I've managed to get through so much of this product. So we finished it up here in December. It was right at the top. I was on the struggle bus with this product. I used this much in January and this much in February. So you can see where I've really started to rocket my gym, um, my gym attendance. I really managed to get loads done. So I'm like almost at the halfway mark with this product, which I am so, so happy about. This is just a fresh, fruity, like sweet type scent, like as in it smells like candies. And it just works so well at the gym. Like I get loads of compliments at the gym on this and everything. So it makes me really happy. So I finally have a use for this. And obviously I did finish up the Love Spell Dupe and the A Thousand Wishes Mini. So it's kind of no surprise that I did have a couple more knocking about. But these are all going to stay on my like perfume tray I have out. Um, just to get used up. They probably won't. I don't know. I'll think about putting them in the spring project. But I already know I'm making such good progress on these that I could finish them. Pretty much everything in the project is finished or like on the path to being finished aside from these two which are a little bit more of a struggle so i'm really happy about that um i probably could at the very very least i will definitely get these two used up and then more use out of the sprays so i'm really happy about that I'll just jump into numbers really quickly. Basically, um, this project ran October, November, December, January, February. Is that right? I don't know. There's a whole playlist on my channel anyway. So in that time, I finished up five shower gels, one scrub, four body moisturizers, one hand cream, two fragrance mist sprays, four soaps, hand soaps, and three pocket backs. And then I could definitely get finished up another body moisturizer, another shower gel, and then honestly, these three sprays at some point. But timely wise, I definitely am gonna get these two done. So that takes me to like a total of 20 products possibly plus two so i'm really happy about that the winter period to me is not my favorite like i love spring and summer scents so much more i find i use my sprays so much more in the summer 
body moisturizers I do use a lot in the winter but also I'm wearing like long sleeve clothes like a lot of pants rather than shorts so I don't know I just winter seems to be a bit of a struggle bus for me to use a product though I'm really happy that I did actually manage to finish all but 20 products when I look back to my spring finale I finished up 24 so I'm sort of on the same track see if I can find my summer project because I do keep it all in this book yeah summer I finished up 38 so summer really is the time for me um, I'm, but I'm really excited to get into the spring products and the summer products because I'm so excited. I love all my spring and summer fruitiness. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of this project and everything I was able to use and get use out of. This has got to be the star of the show because this was in last summer's project. You can see it got to like here and then this winter I flew through it. So I'm really happy about that. I've also been on the discovery of scents that I would never would have used before like these vanillas and just getting things out of my collection or used in my collection that have just sat around for a long time so really proud of this really happy with everything that I did um, I'm really excited for the spring project so that will be out soon so you guys can see everything that I'll get up to in the spring let me know what you use up this winter and what you're looking forward to this summer and spring so thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one bye